In this video, I'll show you how to add text to your project in AutoCAD. I'll also show you how to add a frame around the text, how to create multiple sizes, and how to adjust the size, essentially. My name is Jay, and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube, and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's dive in. I'm using a floor plan that I created before, and I essentially want to add all the room names here. So to start the text command, what I can do is head to the left where it says text and click on this command right here, or this button, and this will start the text command. The other way to do it is by using a shortcut. And to access it, we can just click escape for now and then type the letter T and then hit return, and this will start the text command. The way the text command works is you need to draw a dialog box. So you need to click twice before it actually starts. So to do that, I want to do the kitchen right now. So I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to click here. And this opened the dialog box for us. And then here, I'm going to write kitchen and then click outside the dialog box. Now, as you can see, the text is not visible. It's almost as if it disappeared, but it didn't. The problem with it is that by default, the text is very small in AutoCAD and we need to adjust it. And just to show you, it is actually right here, but as you can see, it is very small. So to fix this, what we can do is to either select the kitchen element or the text element right here. And then what I can do is from the right side where it says properties, I can go down where it says text. And then from here, you should be able to see text height. And then this one, I will change it to four inches. And now you can clearly see the word kitchen, okay? And just in case you might not be seeing all of these commands that I have here when I select the text, it's probably because your properties is on the, the tab that says my. So you wanna switch to the all tab so that way you can see all the commands uh, or all the options basically or properties of an object, okay? All right, now this partially solved our problem with the text because we want the text to start from the beginning to be in the proper size. That's why we need to modify something called the text style. And to access the text style, there's multiple locations to do it. There's actually on the left right here in the text section, you can click on text style and it will open this window. Another location is actually from the top where it says format, and then you can click here on text style. And the last one is if you use shortcut, you can just type text style and it will open the same window, okay? so. By default, you should have the standard style, and this is the one that's used. I do have multiple ones here, but we're not going to talk about them. But the thing is with the standard style, by default, it has a text height of zero. So we need to modify this number. So that way, the next time we place a text in our project, it comes at the right size. So from here, the number that I used earlier was four inches. So I'm going to type that again and hit return. Then I'm going to click apply and close. So now when we start the text command again, and I'm gonna use the shortcut here. Okay, so let's say we wanna place it right here where it says entry. So I do wanna say entry here essentially. So I'm gonna click here and click here, and then I'm gonna type entry. And now as you can see, we, it comes out in the right size. And if we do it again, let's do the living room, for example, another window, living room, and this is all looking good. So I just showed you how to create a text and how to modify the size of it in the text style. So the next thing I wanna cover is how to add a frame to it. To do that, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is to select a text element. And then from the properties, you wanna go down in the list of the properties. And then right here, you should see or find one that says text frame. You're gonna select that and you can see we're gonna get a frame for our text. Now, in case you're not seeing it, like I mentioned earlier, you just wanna switch the tab for your properties from the one that says my to the one that says all, and you should be good to go, okay? Now to do this for all of them, we can actually select multiple ones. And then from here, I'm gonna go down and do text frame. The next thing I wanna show you is how to create a different size for the text. So what are we going to do essentially is to create another text style with a different text type so that way we can have multiple sizes on our drawing. To do that, I'm gonna go back to the text style. I'm gonna go here. And then from here, I'm gonna click on the plus sign on the bottom and I'm gonna call it bigger text size. You can choose a different name, of course. And then this one right here, I'm gonna change the text height to eight. So that way it's double the size. I'm gonna click apply and then close. And then now when I create a text, I'm gonna type it T. 
and then let's say uh, residence two bed one bath okay just gonna add a small dash here and then I click outside this box you will see this will come double the size now you might be wondering how does AutoCAD knows which style to currently use so there is actually a setting where you set up what is the current style to be used to do that we can switch it either from the text style or from the properties window so I'll show you the textile first. I'm going to click on that window again. And then from here, I can select the textile that I want. And then you right click and you say set current. So this is one way to do it. So now when we add a text, and then let's say here, foyer, this came out the standard size, which is the one we did earlier. If I want to switch it, there's another location to do it, like I mentioned in the properties. So I'm going to go to the right side. And right here, as you can see, it says textile standard. I'll switch to this one. And then from here, I'll say, for example, two car covered parking or patio. Two car covered patio, okay? So this one came out in the bigger style. The last thing I wanna cover in this video is how would you choose the right textile for your project so it all comes down to the scale of the drawing you are doing so for floor plans usually i use about four inches or six inches for the text height now if you're doing a smaller drawing if you're focusing on a room for example you might use bigger text size so that way it covers more space okay so to save time i actually created a bunch of styles so that way you know which scale to use with the right text height, and I'll give you the file to download for free. And I'll show you how to place it in your drawing so that way you load all the styles. It's essentially this file, and I'm gonna go and select everything in it, and I'm gonna do Command C, and then I will go back to my drawing, and then from here, I'm gonna basically place it right here, okay? So now when I did this and I copied and I pasted this into the drawing, now I'm able to use the different text styles. You will see them loaded from here. You can see them right here. It says JC001 all the way to 192. And then the way I organized it is I wrote for you which scale to use and what's the style name essentially. So if you are working, if you're trying to do a drawing for a floor plan, usually the common scale is the quarter inch. So for that one, you would use the 48 text style. So, and to just show you this, I'm gonna finish these tags right here or the window, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the room names. I'm gonna switch this to JC48. Okay, and then I'm gonna type T. And then here I'm gonna do bedroom one. And here we go, and here's bedroom two. I'm just gonna copy this one. I use the copy command like this and so on. If this video helped you today, please like and subscribe. And if not, please let me know in the comments as I would really love to know how I can do the next tutorial better. Thank you for watching.